Yeah? All right, so this is going to show you how to put a chain on this chainsaw. So the tools you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver to adjust the chain tension and a 13 mm socket to actually attach it. All right, first thing to remember is which way the chain goes on. It spins this way, and that's the cutting pit on the tooth, just there. So that's why we want to make sure the chain's always on the right way. If it's on the wrong way, it won't cut. It'll just spin and make a lot of noise and not cut at all. All right. So the trick with this is to get it. Firstly, there's a little cog. It's hard to see underneath here where the chain sits. Once you've got that in there free and, and turning freely, then put the chain bar in. Okay. Now what we do is we connect the chain on there, just loosely. Okay. By pulling the bar that way, we put a little bit of tension on the chain, and then we can just check that it turns smoothly telling us that this part here is all connected. Okay, the next step is to put the guard back on. Now with the guard, this pin here, this is the chain adjustment, which is adjusted by there with a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver. That, uh, that pin needs to line up with this, otherwise the guard won't go on correctly. Okay, so it's not going anywhere, right? So we just give it a wiggle to try and get that to line up. Okay, that's sitting nice and flat. Now we put on our two cover screws. That's one, two. And all we're going to do is we're going to nip these up gently. If you don't want to tighten them up yet, we'll tighten them up later. The idea being that if it's loose, you can adjust the chain. Once you tighten them up, you won't be able to anymore. Okay. Now we turn the chain back and forward through there. Okay, it's come out a bit there, that's all right. So. This is actually adjusted up fairly well, but that is kind of the maximum amount of looseness you want the chain to be. If anything, we could probably nip it up a little bit. So we just grab the screwdriver and tighten it up just there. Just a small turn. There we go. And that's perfect. Now, we should use a, and I will use later, a socket wrench to finish this up but we want them as tight as they can go and that's it now that saw is ready to use when starting this particular saw there's a, there's a two part trigger so you want to push down this part and hold in the trigger on this side there's a, a lock for the trigger push that in release the original part and that'll hold the trigger in. <coughs> okay, there's a cutoff switch at the back here. You have to make sure that that is in the on position. Pull the choke. I'll always give this two pulls until you can hear the motor wanting to start. From there, I always turn the choke back to the off position. Give it one more pull, 100% of the time it does start. Um, and then once it starts, let it rev for a bit. Once you pull the trigger in, It'll release and then it will, it will return to an idle and once you're done there you're ready to start it. When you want to stop the saw, put it on a nice flat surface and just push that trigger back down and that will stop the saw. With petrol, this is a two-stroke uh, two machine so we want to make sure we get the correct mixture for basically the standard lawnmower. Fuel goes in here. You must always have chain and bar oil in this. The chain and bar oil will use at about the same rate as the petrol, so when you fill up one, make sure you fill up the other, otherwise you'll burn out the chain. That's it. Well done.